Lowe's is getting some free advertisement and they don't deserve it. Hey, good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having an awesome day today. Um, I'm back out here on the cabin build, an off-grid place. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what we've got done so far and what the plans are for today and we'll kind of see how far we get. Um, I think this is like day five of working on this. Like I said in the previous videos, we've been working on anywhere from two to four hours over the last four days. So um, I think that's not bad. Um, total of like 10 to 12 hours on that. That's what we got done so far. Uh, me and my father-in-law and uh, my wife. Um, I think my father-in-law is coming out here today. I don't know if Brandy and the girls will make it out here. We got a Christmas dinner for my family today, um, which when you guys watch this, it'll be probably the previous day. But let me show you what we got done and then what we plan on getting done today. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, smash that like button for me if you would. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. So let's get into the build. It's a windy, windy day today. So hopefully this holds up in the wind. Okay, so what we got planned well, I'll show you what we got done, then I'll show you what we got planned. So we got all four walls up. We still need to frame out this window, but here's the window. So we're going to frame that out. Um, and we just stuck that uh, header up there last night just to see if it was going to work. And it's, it works great. It's awesome. Um, so you can see we still need to put some more supports down here. But we, got, we got everything ready for the OSB board. So we're gonna start putting, I went and bought some OSB board. So we're gonna start applying that today. But before we get into the OSB part of it, it's got about a half inch off um, level. So I brought my jack. You can see, I brought my jack. We're gonna jack this side up and then I'm gonna finish putting these uh, little columns down in there to get it level and sturdy and secure. Um, I might have to get in there and maybe put some shims up underneath there, I don't know. Um, but more, more likely we'll probably get leveled right here and put the, six by six post all the way around it. And then once we do that, we're gonna start putting OSB board up around the sides. See how far we get. If we get, if we have time, um, we'll start put hanging, the, making the trusses up here too. So I think it's gonna be, we're gonna, make, we're gonna make some progress today. I'm excited. It's starting to really look like the cabin that I envisioned in my head. And um, it, it really has not been that hard with the help of my father-in-law and my wife. Um, this is very is very doable for sure. Um, you, you could someone could do this by themselves if they if they had the desire to, um, which I would come out here and work on it myself if I, if I had to. Um, but um, my father in laws my father in laws retired and he likes to do stuff like this. So we're gonna get busy and I'm actually waiting on him. Um, but I'm gonna actually get the jack out and you know, jack it up a little bit and see what I can get. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video.
this pit on the top. Right? It's just put the turn around. That's boat in it now. We go. What? Hot meat today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really It's bugging us here. Well, you're helping us right on that. This ain't gonna help this turn this in. Once we turn around the boat on the inside, we're gonna mark our board. I think I can flip it. Hold on. Okay guys, uh, what we figured out real quick, and you can kind of see it on the back of my truck, um, Lowe's has really pulled a fast one on us, you know, probably not intentional, intentional, but um, it's really frustrating and annoying um, that, you know, um, we got this loaded up, and, and whenever we loaded it up uh, at the store, um, they just got a forklift and loaded it and whatnot. Um, I didn't pay much attention other than the fact that all these boards were outside, That's all the, they got, they're storing all their OSB board. Outside, they took off the top layer one, you know, the one that was getting the most weather. Then they just load all these other ones up, and um, we'll come to realize it's really messing up the build as far. And uh, we can't use we can't use the lines to mark the studs and stuff. So now we're having to go back and chalk line everything um, to get the the studs lined up to to bolt screw it down. Um, it's kind of just it's just kind of annoying and a pain in the butt. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh, maybe I should have paid a little bit more attention whenever they're loading them. Um, but, you know, really, honestly, Lowe shouldn't be selling these warp boards like this. I mean, they're warped bad. And I don't know how well you'd be able to tell on camera, but, I mean, the whole wraparound, it, it was a battle. It was a fight. We got, we got it, though, and uh, you guys will see the rest. But I just want to throw that in there, talk to you guys a little bit about whenever you are, you can see how it just bows out. Um, check your material really, really good, especially from Lowe's. Because here recently, we have not been getting good lumber from Lowe's at all like it's it's slim pickings over there it's been a little it's been a little crazy when it comes to the the lumber but it is what it is we're gonna battle through it and get it done and uh all right let's get back into screwing some of these down oh, in maybe not <laughs> Okay, so we had we moved this neller over. This we put a neller on the bottom just to help hold up the OSB board. For all you carpenters out there, anyone who's built before, yes, we know we flip these boards around. If 
you can use them they, they got them pre-marked to hit the studs the black lines if you have everything measured out right those will line up right with the stud so you don't have to take uh you don't have to chalk it like we did but the reason why we turn these around can anyone guess yeah because uh we bought low sold us some warped uh osb board like all their osb board was outside so for it we had to turn it around uh to be able to push this up against um the cabin so yes that's why we flipped those around because i know some of y'all are going to catch that and uh, let's see here so we got two pieces up we're just screwing it in you know we're gonna work our way around and uh, i'll be back in just a little bit whenever we got some more done to give you guys a little update Okay, we're about to run out of time today, but we did get it all wrapped in OSB board besides the front because we got to um, frame this up for the window. Um, so next time we come out, you'll see us doing that and we'll be getting putting the making the trusses up there. Uh, I'll show you real quick. You see it? We got it all boxed in for the most part. So the last thing I'm going to do before we get out of here is I bought some of that um, wrap, that low cells. They, they wrap houses around, so I'll show you guys wrapping that up and we'll come back and talk to you a little bit and get off here okay instead of one of them slap hammer uh staples staplers i bought i spent like a couple bucks more to get this electric one it's battery operated never used it before but we're going to try it with this wrap Big time. There you go. Wrap 
on it. Yeah. Make it look like it's not level because that paper won't be level. <laughs> On it. Yeah, I don't know. You worried about that? Okay, that's all we got for you guys today on that wrap one up there pretty easy uh, We was gonna go ahead and wrap the front of it, but then we're just gonna have to cut it cutting it off It wouldn't make no sense to cut that but we got the whole thing wrapped besides the front. Let's see here All the way around the back Lowe's is getting some free advertisement and they don't deserve it and they don't deserve it because they sold me a bunch of warped boards But anyways, hope you guys are enjoying this little cabin build. We got Randy Randy's back there texting people I can't hardly get him to work because all he does is text. <laughs> but anyways, we got uh, we got all wrapped up. We got most of it framed in or boxed in with the OSB board minus the front, obviously, because we got to put the door and then we got to put the window. Um, then, so the next time you guys see us, hopefully we'll be having the window put in the door and start on the trusses. So that would be awesome. Um, it's just step by step. Like I said before, we're working a little bit at a time, not killing ourselves, but working hard. And uh, I've had several comments saying, Man, you guys are working too fast. I've watched a lot of these tiny house builders and I have for years and they and you guys work too fast. It's pretty funny. Um, but it, it's um, it's one of them things. We're trying to get this done on my day. I have 10 days off and I'm trying to get it dried in on those 10 days. So that's why we've been out here so much um, is because of that. Because then when I go back to work, it's kind of hit and miss the weather and all that. You don't know where you're going to get back out here. So if we can get it dried in, then we'll be good to go. So that's why we're doing as much as we are, as quick as we are. But I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, Randy, you guys say anything? Nope. Nothing? Tired? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, you can see. That's it. He's a man of few words. Man of few words. But uh, one thing um, I did do on accident, it was pretty funny. You guys probably don't realize this, but I always bring like just enough boards, like two by fours, and we're always like one short. For some reason, I end up buying like seven extra um, OSB boards, and that's usually not like me, but that's actually a good thing. Um, but anyways, that's all we got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the cabin build. Brandy's calling me. We got to go to dinner. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.